So what is the difference between RS-256 and HS-256 when it comes to JSON Web Signature tokens? So both of them are used to generate like the last part of the JSON Web Signature token and that is like a message authentication code or a digital signature. Now for the record, there's also unsecured JSON Web Signature tokens where you don't have like the last part, so this blue thing I drew over here, but we're gonna ignore this for now, right? It's like an edge case. So with HS-256, you're using HMAC and SHA-256. So SHA-256 is like a very common hash function and HMAC itself uh, stands for Keyed Hashed Mes Message Authentication Code. So I also have a dedicated video on like what an HMAC is and, and how it works. So if you're interested in that, just check that one out. And the bottom line is that with HS-256, you need to share the secret if you want to verify a token, okay? So in order to create this token, you need like a specific secret. Then you get like this message authentication code, your, your HMAC. But if you want to verify whether this uh, message authentication code is valid, you also need like the secret. And in practice, this is somehow like a problem because if two companies are collaborating, like you don't want to have like a common secret. Right, because if either one of them gets hacked, then your system is compromised as well. And that is why a lot of people actually go with uh, asymmetric crypto systems. So something like uh, RS-256, there's also ES-256, so elliptic curve uh, digital signature algorithm. Um, but RS-256 or RSA is like just such a common crypto system. So I thought let's just explain the difference with this one. So the difference here is that you're not creating a message authentication code, you're creating a digital signature. And that means you have like a key pair. So you generate a private key and a public key. You keep the private key for yourself. Like under all circumstances, you do not leak this private key. And the private key can be used to create these signatures. And the public key can only be used to verify the signatures. And this is, of course, an interesting thing, right? Because, again, if two companies collaborate, like, they only sh exchange, like, their public keys so they can verify, like, the other party's signature, but they always keep the private key for themselves. So that just, like, reduces and lowers the risk, the overall risk that they have. So the bottom line here is that with this system here, uh, you only need, like, the public key to verify the signature and you need like the private key to actually create the signature now there's one more property um, that this or that rs256 or like these asymmetric systems have they provide the property of non-repudiation so non-repudiation means you cannot deny that you created this token right because with hs256 let's let's imagine you have two companies right and um yeah, then all of a sudden one company says, uh, hey, why did you send me this token? This was like invalid. And the other company says, well, I did not create this token. What are you talking about? And the other one says, yes, you did. No, I didn't. You know, and back and forth and back and forth. And the problem is since you have like a shared secret, you really cannot prove like which party now generated this token or not. Whereas here, you know that every party just keeps their private key and only exchanges the public key. So there's like no way you can deny that you basically created this token unless like you have been hacked, but that's then a bigger issue, okay? So RS-256 and HS-256, with HS-256, you have a shared secret. With RS-256, you're leveraging uh, asymmetric uh, crypto systems like RSA or elliptic curve cryptography. These days, it is recommended that you use actually ES-256 uh, because it's the better crypto system. So you can have shorter key lengths with ES-256, but similar security guarantees. Cool. So that's it pretty much. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.